Elvis Presley never visited the Australian outback town of Parks. He never wrote a song about it. In fact, he probably didn't even know it existed. But for one week every January, fans from around the world flock to the sleepy New South Wales town as part of an annual pilgrimage to honour the King. Thousands of Elvis and Priscilla impersonators travel west from Sydney for a six-day celebration of all things Presley. Revelers from the city catch the Elvis Express, a special service that carries fans seven hours from Sydney Central Station to parks. Oh, uh baby. -huh, We're going home, baby. More Elvis in your life. <laughs> Bye. Elvis Express tickets are hot property selling out within hours, and die-hard fans look forward to the party atmosphere on board. We always have a good time, don't we, Ben? Oh, we always have a good time. Yeah, you know, it. Yeah. Right We're just the biggest Elvis fans. Yeah. It's actually a lot better than being Priscilla because you get to blow kisses at the girls. He's well and truly in the building and not only that, he's on this train. Parks uh, became the Elvis capital of Australia because we had two Elvis fans. 21 years ago, that it would be a nice idea to have a birthday celebrations in their restaurant, which they did, and that really was the genesis of the Elvis festival that's grown to today. Up to 20,000 people pour into Parks for the festival, which includes a Miss Priscilla pageant, Elvis look-alike and sound-alike competitions, and the main event, the Elvis Street Parade. Much more than this, I did it my way. Oh, it's an enormous boost to the town. It's got a few obvious benefits, such as the financial benefit. It was worth about $9 million to our shire over the five days of the festival last year. So it's put us on their map uh, in a big way. Elvis fans, we get a lot from Queensland, a lot from uh, Melbourne, or Victoria, most from New South Wales. Um, we actually do get them from um, New Zealand and we get them from Germany, Sweden, America, England. So um, we actually get quite, quite a lot. I see, I see a lot of uh, Elvis uh, uh, this day and uh, I make a lot of pictures and uh, I'm telling uh, when I'm coming home to my family what uh, my experience in parks was. And the biggest fans travel to one of the town's Elvis museums. This one located in a residential garage. Oh, I think this is wonderful. Yeah, seven hours we drove to get here and uh, we brought up a uh, painting we put in the art show, which was painted my, by my girlfriend from Cowra. We, have a, we try and have a theme every year. So this year's Aloha Hawaii. So grass skirts, coconut bras, um, Hawaiian shirts. Next year um, is Kissing Cousins. We've got a couple of surprises hopefully um, to work out for 2014 that um, should entice the fans back again for 2014. And when the festivities are over, the Elvis Express travels back to Sydney. Until next year.